Hello guys, what's up? Today I am going to teach you how to create a 4 to 20 milliamp simulator. And why are we going to create this simulator? Because we want to simulate the current, the output current that is going to be the output of this transmitter. And this transmitter costs a lot of money and I think just for prototyping we need just a simulator and we are going to need an LM317 we are going to need two LEDs one battery of two volts also you can use a battery of nine volts we are going to need two resistors of 1k ohms one resistor of 39 ohms and one potentiometer of 250 ohms and our output is going to be here okay here it's going to be the plus oh sorry and here is going to be the negative So here we are going to have 4 to 20 milliamps. And here we need to add a resistor. of 250 ohms and here we are going to have the input for our Arduino that it's going to be from 1 to 5 volts And this one to five volts is gonna be proportional to to the vibration to the inch per second that I explained in the last video. And here I have a video of the physical material. Yeah. As you, he as you see here, I have the LM317, I have the 9 volts battery, mm, I have, well, you can use two LEDs, here I have just one, and the resistor, I like to use these potentiometers, because these are a uh, precision potentiometers and you can use that for the two resistors you need for the 1k and uh, for the 39 um, for the potentiometer of 250 ohms you can use this for I recommend you to use for every resistor we need because you can adjust the value you need and the error is going to be too low and here I have an implementation of the of this circuit I'm going to reproduce the video Here I am adjusting the potentiometer and as you see here, here we have 10 milliamps, 11 milliamps, 12 milliamps, the opposite, 10 milliamps, 
So this is from 4 to 20 milliamps. So this is the, the circuit, 4 to 20 milliamps. And here I have the resistor of 250 ohms. You can build something similar if you want, or if you have a 4 to 20 milliamps device that changes from 4 to 20, it will be good. I saw on the internet they are some prepared but I, I prefer to create it my um, simulator so this is the resistor of 200 here we have the, the amps and here we have the signal in volts and the output Here, not confused. This is the resistor. So if we remember Ohm's law, the output is going to be voltage. And here we have our signal from one to. Five volts, and this signal we are going to introduce in our Arduino because our Arduino reads voltage analog signals, and then we are going to convert this signal, this analog signal, into a digital signal that I am going to explain you in the next video how um, ADC works so guys if you have any questions you know write down the comments and subscribe and like my videos so see you in the next tutorial bye